Hey folks, Mark Madden here, your Sofa Hope Realtor with the Madden team at Berkshire Hathaway Commonwealth Real Estate. Bring you episode 27 of the Watertown Homes Daily Update. Today, being a Monday, I want to talk about last week and tell you what sold on the market last week in order to keep you on top of what's happening in your marketplace so that you know kind of where your house might fit into the mix. Last week there were three sales in all of Watertown, including two single family homes and one condominium. So let's dive right in. Let me pull up my computer screen here. And here we are. So we have 26 Charles Street, 21 Arden Road, and 324 Lexington Street all sold on the market last week. And looking at these on the kind of bigger detail version right here, 26 Charles Street is a Cape style single family home uh, located off of Mont Auburn, uh, sorry, off of Main Street in Watertown. This one was on the market for 64 days before accepting an offer. Had a sales price of 660 after being listed for 669,900, so it was selling for a little bit less than asking price. It had a living area of 2908, built in 1950, a 10 room, four bedroom, two full bath with two parking spaces off street. I toured this home, it was a expanded cape where they had added on addition in the back, they had finished the upstairs rooms. It was a lot of space on a small parcel of land, as you can see here with the 4534 in the square footage. 21 Arden Road on the east end of town, uh, backing up to Oakley Country Club, was listed on the market for 47 days before accepting an offer. It was listed at $1.145 million and wound up selling for $1.1125 million at about 97% of the original price. What's interesting about both these single family homes is that even though they're on the market for 47 and 64 days, they both did not change their original price and just stayed on the market until they sold. And that's why they did sell for a little bit less. They didn't have a lot of bidding or anything along those lines. They just waited for the right buyer to come along. Arden Road was an eight room, four bedroom, one and a half bath with 2240 on the square footage built in 1928 and a lot size of 7954, two car garage and two off street parking. And as I said, backed right up to the Oakley Golf, Oakley Golf Country Club. And then the last one down here is 324 Lexington Street, a townhouse in the village condominiums. This one was only on the market for nine days before accepting an offer. It was listed for 399 and sold for 399. These were built in 1940. This one has a living area of 1311, which includes the basement space, a five room, two bedroom, one full bath, and had one off street parking space, which almost all of these units do. There's only a few units have two parking spaces and they're actually assigned. So they don't necessarily convey with the property if they do have the two parking spaces. But what I'd love to do now is just real quickly, dive through, let you see the photos of all these different properties. I'll give you a quick reminder of what the, what the details were and then we can look at all the photos. So looking at 26 Charles Street, you can see all the details up here. So for 660, 10 room, four bedroom, two full bath. Down here you have the 2908 square footage, including the finished basement, a 4534 square foot lot. Uh, and let's just look at the photos. So you can see what the finishes were. So you can have an idea that if you have a Cape style house, similar square footage, maybe less square footage, you know, how might your Cape style house fit into the Watertown market? A little, little backyard space. This is the front of the house here. You have the parking on this side. There's actually a gate on this side that leads down. It almost looks like at one point in time they had utilized this house as maybe having an in-law scenario in the basement and that's why the square footage was so high. Just gonna really pile through these real quick so you can just take a peek, updated bathroom, Nice skylights in that back addition room, kind of family room off the kitchen. You know, the kitchen was nicely updated. I actually like the cabinets and the style of those. It was just a very spread out house that somebody would have had to figure out how they were going to utilize it best. I'm just gonna flip through these so you can see them. You can stop it, you can pause the video if you want, but just keep taking a look. This is the basement, here's the floor plans. But let's move on to 21 Arden Road, which I toured, I love this house. It was, a, it was a nice stately house, as I said, backing up to Oakley Country Club. Just as a quick reminder, sold for $1,112,500, an eight room, four bedroom, one and a half bath, 
with 2240 on the square footage and 7954 on the lot size. And then looking at the photos here, I mean, I liked a lot, I, this is just my style. I like woodwork and I like the center entrance colonial style, so it just speaks to me, which is why I like this one a good bit. Nice fireplace living room with the wood beams, you know, hardwood floors, you have updated windows throughout, semi-updated kitchen that they've done in the last eight years or so. But just looking at the photos, I'm just gonna kinda click through them so you can see it. Nicely landscaped backyard, and you can see here this is the house and that's the country club right behind it. And then for our last sale of last week, the one over at 324 Lexington Street in the Village Condominiums, quick refresher again, sold for $399, five room, two bedroom, one full bath, 1311 square feet including the basement. The condo fees in this complex, you can see right down at the bottom of the screen here, are 310 a month. That includes your water, sewer, master insurance, use of the swimming pool and exterior maintenance, landscaping, snow removal, club room, and refuse removal. And then to look at the photos, this one was nicely updated. I mean, Lexington Street is one of the main roads of the complex, but this one was nicely set back. Uh, here's the living room space. It was the kitchen that I believe was nicely updated in this one. You know, this one had carpet in the living room and dining room. We can see, you know, decently updated kitchen. You know, upstairs, wallpaper on the bedrooms, carpet on the floors. They had actually done the, the epoxy ceiling on the tile in the bathroom at some point in time, so they're not the pink or the green or the blue. They made them into the nice white. The landscaping outside, and then the front photo. What I found very interesting and telling about the sales last week is looking at the single family homes. Average list price, 907450 Average sales price, 886250 On the condominiums, average list price, 399 because there's only one, and the average sales price was 399 None of these properties sold for more than ask price. And we talked about this last week, and we'll probably keep talking about it throughout the winter. But I think that we're seeing a trend in the marketplace where things have started to stabilize there's a little bit of a shift where properties have to be priced well with the market and actually marketed in order to obtain that excitement from buyers. That's going to be something that's going to be prevalent going forward, I think. But keep checking back every week, check out every day even, but every week when we do these, if you're a watch on homeowner, it will give you a good idea of where the market's going, how the market's acting out there, and where your home might fit into the current market. I'm Mark Madden, your Soul Hope Realtor with the Madden team at Berkshire Hathaway Commonwealth Real Estate. Be sure to check back tomorrow for another one of our Watertown Homes daily updates. And please, if you found any value in this video, share, like, and comment to spread the news throughout Watertown. Have a great day.